Take a seat, kids. This was gonna be a doozy. So, a new Mario movie's coming out later next year, right? But there was already a new Mario movie that came out in 1993 called Super Mario Bros., and you probably never heard of it. And for good reason. Hey, y'all, come look at this. I think this movie is actually worse than Steven Seagal's Code of Honor. Alright, so you're gonna introduce to Mario and Luigi, and, bro, let me, I gotta pause right here. Why does he look 30 years younger than his brother? This guy resembles Danny DeVito more than this guy. <laughs> this shit is already awful. I don't even want to watch this anymore. Does this guy look like he can carry you across the stage with just one up here? No! So they're rushing to get to the construction site or whatever, but they've been beaten by another plumbing company. Did I mention that they're supposed to be Italian and not actually from New York? They have thick Brooklyn accents, but in Super Mario Bros. the game, Mario and Luigi speaks Italian. Compared to... Scopelli. They beat us to it again. And it was confirmed by the game designer all the way back in 1985, before the Mario movie was even thinking about being made. Yo, oh, two Mario movie. Let's see what else. We get introduced to this movie's Daisy. And cut the goddamn music again, bruh. Alright, you notice how there's Mario and Peach, Luigi and Daisy? You may be asking yourself, wait, where is Peach in this movie? She's not in this movie. Huh? Mario's girlfriend is a girl named Daniela. This was Mario's old girlfriend before Princess Peach and in the original Mario games, Pauline was kidnapped by Donkey Kong, but in this movie, she's kidnapped by King Koopa, also known as Bowser. That's a little bit of inconsistency there. And how is Daisy in this movie but not Princess Peach if Princess Peach was introduced before Daisy? You know what? I don't fucking care. I didn't even discuss the plot yet. Do I have to? I have to. Remember that one meteor that came and mucked all the dinosaurs? Well, in this movie, the meteor didn't kill the dinosaurs. It just sent them to a parallel universe. You may be asking yourself, Oh, so this is where we're getting introduced to the Mushroom Kingdom. No, 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 we don't. Um... It sends them to a parallel universe. And I think the Metropolis universe is ran by King Koopa? Maybe? I hope? I don't know. Alright, what, when did I click off the movie? It was... And Daisy was at the construction site. Also, this is not Bowser. This is King Koopa that controls all the intelligent dinosaurs that were sent to the parallel universe. So, where was, like, the big lizard, indestructible shell, mouth-breathing Bowser at? He's not in this film. Just like Princess Peach. How is the Super Mario Bros. without Bowser? Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> I also like how these quote-unquote super intelligent dinosaurs didn't notice these two big ass plumbers just right next to the goddamn elevator. Like y'all, are y'all blind? Okay, well. Luigi, Mario. Uh, Daisy. 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 You it just ended on a cliffhanger? Wow, they really just gave us a cliffhanger. No, you don't even deserve a cliffhanger for this god awful movie. Jesus, Larizus. So, uh, yeah, that was Super Mario Bros. 1993. Uh, this movie is bad, but, um, it's not, it's, like, fun to laugh at. You know, a movie that is so trash, it's just so fun to, like, just go back on and see how stupid it is? That's exactly this movie. And I feel like the ratings are definitely perfect. Like, they're not off point. They're accurate. So, uh, please like and subscribe. It took me a while.